Hello, darlings! It's our first time in Cebu, the Philippines, and we're staying at a five star resort. Lots of things happen. Our room gets upgraded to the pool villa. We paddle on a transparent boat, stroll through a coconut plantation where a horse roams free, go on an island trip, get a spontaneous garden tour, witness a bunny and guinea pig having lunch together, enjoy moments of solitude on the beach, and more. Also, a gentleman climbs a tall coconut tree and cuts open young coconuts for us to drink. And of course, we eat, eat, and eat, including bangos, bicol express, chicken adobo, and homemade jam on crispy bread. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. We landed at perfect timing. Uh, our driver from Kandaya just picked us up. We got lucky because it is pouring right now. Right after we got off the plane, it was uh, sprinkling, and then now it's wow. It's beautiful. Hopefully, no traffic or accident. It's a three hour ride to the resort. <laughs> our tractor ride is here. It's gonna be an adventure. Just kidding, we're going into the van. AC, yes! Check it out, we just got some treats. We heard that Cebu is famous for their mangoes. Shamrock Otap Puff Pastry. One side of the puff pastry reminds me of chicharron, while the other side looks like rings of tree trunk, or even ripples of water. Wonderful. Especially wonderful paired with the AC. Love this leg room. Oh yes, thank you. It's like a natural perfume. Sweet. So good. Oh, there's a Korean restaurant here! Due to traffic, our driver now estimates the ride will be three and a half hours long. Yeah, right now it's 3.22, so we'll be there around 7. So you might be wondering, why in the world did I book a resort that's all the way on the north side of this island? Uh, actually, I booked this place really late at night. I didn't realize it'd be like a three hour-ish ride from the airport. Also, it was like the more affordable resorts I found online. Some resorts are like $400 a night, it's crazy. There's a coconut tree. Cow! The highway is made up of two lanes, kind of like in Iceland. If you want to drive faster, you have to enter the opposite facing lane and go around the vehicle in front. The darkness sets in, and without street lamps, there is low visibility. We made it! Fresh coconut water as a welcome drink. Salamat po! Originally, I booked a garden villa, but our room was upgraded to the beach pool villa. FYI, I did not tell them I'm a YouTuber. So good evening ma'am once again. So on that side is our horse table or quadra. Uh, we do have also the bikes. It's free for one hour daily to use. And then the paddle boarding and the kayak is 30 minutes free a day. Yes. And we have here the deluxe premiere. It's about 7 p.m. It's a bit dark so we didn't get to see the outside in its full glory, the lush greenery. Or I think it's lush, we'll see in the morning. Before anything else, let's give you a room tour. Right when we enter, we see a TV and the lounge area, accent lamp in the corner. Another seating area, but for dining purposes. A boat of oranges and apple await. Two sets of silverware and plates are ready to use. Swiveling to the left, reveals a king-size mattress and a wide bed frame. Behind are two closets. We also have a complimentary fire extinguisher. On the bed, we have complimentary cookies as well. Are those almonds on there? Without a second to lose, it's munch time. Inside it is nice and cool. Outside we must brave the heat and humidity. Mmm, smells like the ocean. I can't believe it. We have our own pool. There's a beach right there. You hear the crickets? How's the temperature? Wow. Oh, that's actually pretty cool compared to the air. Oh, there's a shower please? We got a really nice upgrade. Oh, we have to talk quiet because we have neighbors. You have to close the curtain because I like to walk around naked before I shower. Well, specifically, it's not necessarily I like to, I just tend to. Oh, look at the lighting. The lighting fixture is made of cardboard. We have a full body mirror. And here, a desk area. I love it. I'm going to be editing here this week, so this is perfect. Check it out. Mommy O sink, my sink. Whoa, check out this faucet. 
It's a complete square. <laughs> this is my first time seeing something like this. And look at the switch. It looks like a tail. Oops. Dun, 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 dun. Toilet stall, shower stall, the bathtub faucet is also square. You can actually put a drink here while you take a bath or even a candle. Oh, they have bath salt. Looks like they have a candle over there as well. You can switch over to this. Bathroom microphone. Look at how it shines. And I will love you. Do you have any song request? <laughs> Every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel you. Above the bathtub, we have one, two, three, four, five, six mini windows. I'm assuming that's a view to the sky and that no one else can look in. Ceiling above that is very textured. Alcove lighting. Toiletry soap. Rum bar soap. What? Alcoholic soap? Really? Oh, feels very natural. Let's take a look inside. No toiletries in here. Shaving kit. Dental kit. Comb. Sanitary bag. Shower cap. What's inside? Oh, Q-tip, super digging this texture. This area is smooth and glossy, and this one is a little bit more gritty, but still friendly to touch. Here we have our closet. Mamiyo is already settling in. Also got a robe, iron, ironing board. Uh, what is this? Oh, towels. Must be for the beach. Super excited to shower. Tomorrow is a big editing day for me. However, I'll still take breaks here in between and show you bits and pieces like the dining, the beach. We gotta take a look at the beach. Now what else? And coconuts. Oh yeah, let's, they have some activities related to the coconuts. Sunday, Friday, Thursday, Tuesday activities. 2 p.m. Kandaya art attack with coconut leaf art. If it's coconut, I'm in. At 5 p.m., they do uh, basketball. Are you gonna go? Gotta get in touch with your inner Steph Curry. It's probably one of the most spacious hotels we've stayed at. And look, we have a little dance floor here. I showed you that closet, but now allow me to give you a tour of this one. We have a coffee maker, and we also have tea, which I am stoked about. Oh, that one's instant coffee. We have a safe. That's for the other drawers. Empty. Oh, unicorn. Lady Gaga. Mufasa. I just learned that buko juice means coconut water. Good night. Good morning. Let's take a look outside. Did it rain this morning? We were both dog dry outside. I think I'm getting hungry because I mistaken that thing over there as flan. Before we leave the room, we gotta be sure to put on repellent. Mommy O got her booty bitten last night. She had her butt exposed. Oh, is this morning? But imagine a bug being like, ooh, booty, <laughs> and then take a bite. Whoa, there's rain clouds. I hear chickens in the distance. I'm predicting that at some point, this path leads to the restaurant. Look at this pool. Most pools dip in, but this one is leveled with the ground, creating a seamless and minimal appearance. Ah, palm trees reflect on the rolling surface. Called Kusina, this is the one and only restaurant at Kandaya Resort. These fishnet-like objects help create a more intimate space. Before anything else, we are served water infused with mint leaves and lemon. All right, so we have various breakfast options, including eggs, bacon, and Filipino dishes. At first, I read this as dang it, but it's actually dangit, salted dried fish. You can also order juices and smoothies. We got buko juice, coconut water. Done. Yes. The way this napkin is folded, it looks like an envelope. 
put the letter in here and then boop, you got slices of rye bread and they serve it with homemade jam, banana and mango. It looks like a light bulb. Looking into this jar of jam, I see a landscape. <laughs> Put a generous amount. Mm -hmm. Ah, your face says A plus. Mm. A plus plus. Wow. Oh, remote dry. Mm. I definitely feel the real banana in that. Mamio says it's better than a real banana. I predict this will be sweeter. What do you think? Yeah. It's not very spreadable because it has chunks of mango. Yes. It's more solid. Now the bread, it was more crispy when we first had it. The humidity is getting to it. So in humidity, <laughs> pretty much all food is time sensitive. Oh, that is definitely sweeter. Also very tasty. It kind of tastes like apricot jam. Mm -hmm. Mango jam is as sweet as my expectations for this place. Thank you. The egg white frittata is crowned with a fluffy arugula salad. Slices of pecorino cheese and balsamic vinegar bumps up the flavor power. Mamio's American breakfast comes with bacon, tomato, and two eggs. Interestingly, the hash brown looks like a patty made of fried noodles. No matter where I am in the world, I like to start off my breakfast with vegetables. Later tonight though, we shall joyfully dive into Filipino dishes. It's my first time having salad served on egg. Fantastic idea. Mm, those little green pieces are green bell pepper. Hey, I like these shapes and colors. Mamio donated some hash brown. And despite the humidity, the edges are still wonderfully crispy. And the inside is more moist. And you know, a lot of hash brown I've had, the strips are thicker. This one's very thin, almost thin as a vermicelli noodle. And I think that makes it even more crispy because there's more edges. Because of the weather, the butter is very easy to spread. It is sunny, but look at the ground. It is raining as well. The rain is a little funny. It's like it comes out of nowhere and it da -da -da, and then it's like, I'm done, bye. They cleared out our dishes and then brought this and we're like, what is this for? And we were told, fruit. The mango's vibrant color radiates tropical feelings. Looks sharp, but it's gonna be juicy. First time seeing watermelon cut like this and the pineapple slices have edges like petals. So sweet. That is lovely. The jam is way sweeter, but we can still taste this because we had the uh, more savory entree. As if we had this right after the jam, we definitely cannot feel this flavor. Ooh. Sweeter than water, watermelon. I can smell the sweetness. So smooth, it's as if it's like melting butter. You barely need to chew on that. Ripen to perfection. Mamio made a mango boat. Post meal presentation. Let's try a pineapple. The pineapple is also sweet, but tastes more delicately sweet compared to the mango. The mango's like, I'm sweet, and you know it. And the pineapple's like, I'm sweet. I asked, uh, do I pay right now or later? And this is actually complimentary. Breakfast is included with the room. I think it's a lighting fixture and it looks like the design from the inside of the restaurant. I'm gonna check out the interior of this building. Oh, this is birds flying in and out of here. A group of lighting fixtures in the shape of raindrops. Do you see the bird? It's camouflaging with the light brown shades. Totally digging how the strings hold up the spheres. The neutral to dark tones of the furniture and decor feel comforting. You see, Mamiyo has made herself at home and is like, this is my living room now. You know who else has made their home here? The birds. They fly in and out as they please. I think some of the birds want to go outside, but they don't understand the concept of glass. This lounge chair has a hole. It's perfect for releasing gas instead of getting stuck in your pants.
It's mancala. Is it mancala? Yeah. Wow, I've never seen it like this on a table. And they use stones. And what's this? Is it a dried seed of some kind? Mancala goes by different names in the world. Have you played it before? And what do you call it in your country? Water sounds inside, water sounds outside. And this pond is quiet, but you know fish talk with their vibrations. It's sprinkling. It's sprinkling kind of hard actually. You feel each drop. The walk back to our room is all open air. So oh, we're gonna get a little wet. Fortunately, we're able to call a ride. Wow, you're really good at driving backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that tree, the color is so beautiful. Not that good for you to travel. Thank you so much. <laughs> you saved us from getting a shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tide has risen. I was editing a video and noticed a banka on the move. Wow, seeing how sunny it is again, who would have known it was pouring rain? In the meantime, Mamio's hair is in the making. Oh, this guy or girl, his name is Stardust. Hey, Zara. Yes. Is this is fresh? Yes, mom, this is fresh. Okay, first we're gonna take off the main little stick. Yeah, so this one. And after taking this out, you have already two. Yeah. Oh. Insert it into two. Insert it here. And then when you cut, cut in a curve. Mommy is cutting your fish fins. Let's take a look at... In the turkey pen, there are coconuts. But back to the turkey. Oh, a rabbit and a guinea pig have lunch together. They're so cute. I want to hug them. No guinea pig. Hello. Meow. I get distracted. Back to the coconut leaves. And then you have things right up here on this one. Like this. Twist and insert. We made a necklace out of it. Don't mess with me. I'm bling blinging with leaf necklaces. A gentleman creates a ball with the coconut leaves and gives it to us. Salamapo. Thank you. We brought these coconut leaf arts back to the US. They turned into a lovely brown. So this resort, they get their coconuts from their own trees. And there's so many. Lovely. Yeah. This is eggplant actually, see? And the lettuce. These are overgrown already because uh, people, they don't eat, really eat so much of this. We'll be sure to order plenty of lettuce tonight. <laughs> so you guys will use this for your restaurant food? Yes, yes ma'am. It's pet chai. Is it bok choy? Yeah. Kang kong? Yes ma'am. Kang kong. Kang kong is that. Wow. And the lettuce. Wow, they're long. Yeah, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Are they ready to eat? Probably after two weeks. So this is all organic? Yes, ma'am. So how many more weeks until that's full grown? Uh, probably three more weeks. Oh, this is actual coconut plantation? Yes, ma'am. We have papaya on the right and calamansi. So these are almost ready to be taken off the tree? Yes, ma'am. So the horse over there is named Shadow. The other horses are scared to be free and roaming around. But Shadow's pretty chill. So the roaming manure Shadow poop maker. Here. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Shadow poop right there. Oh, so cute. Those little sprouts. So we have some microgreen. Oh, that's all this lettuce. It's probably red here. Flowering bok choy. Yeah. That looks lovely. Those are tomatoes. Oh, they're so cute. I want mommy to get. Oh, I can try. Yes. I can try. Yes, ma'am. That's for you, mom. I'll pick it for you. <laughs> wow, he's the closest one to me. Can I have one more? <laughs> Ooh, that's tasty. Mmm. Tarragon. Let us party. Unsk, 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 unsk. Wow, beautiful. Never knew mango trees are so big. They're still green. Due to the high tide, it looks like our pool is connected to the ocean. There are steps. We can get closer to the water. Wow, you could lay down all the way. Yeah. As the sun sets, the passionate temperature becomes tame. The silhouettes are meditative to look at. Sand is not the softest, but it's easy to walk on. It's that time of the day again. Dinner. The way they fold the napkin is a little different in the evening. We need to help them eat their lettuce. <laughs> they have so much right now. <laughs> Filipino options include Seafood Sinagang, Bicol Express, and Lechon Kawali. Hello, my love. We reunite. It's 
refreshing. Excuse the zapping. That's a good thing. That means the mosquitoes are dying. Look at how it glows. It looks like a nightclub for bugs. Hmm. They put the purple light on over there. It feels fresh. The outside is a little crunchy, but still flexible. Hmm. There seems to be a rosemary in that. And every so often in a bite, there's like a little mushy piece of, I think that's onion. The quinoa veggie salad has stepped into the scene. It contains celery, carrot, cucumber, red onion, bell pepper, tomato, radish, and olive oil vinaigrette. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The restaurant created their own version of this national Filipino dish. Chicken is sautéed in garlic, lemongrass, and turmeric, then simmered in their house-made coconut vinegar and fish sauce. Hiding in the shadows are the seasonal veggies. A bowl of white rice to go with the adobo. We're going family style and sharing the dishes. Ooh, chicken veg. Mmm, thank you. This onion ring is sparkling. Oh, the onion is very thin. I think the skin is thicker than the actual inside. Quinoa salad is sweet and tangy. Knowing that this leaf came from the garden makes it taste even more enjoyable. I appreciate it more. Smooth, not dry, juicy, savory, and a bit salty. So you do want to have some rice or steamed vegetables with that. I haven't had chicken adobo enough to know what tastes authentic, but what I do know is I enjoyed this dish and so did Mommy O. That was too easy to eat. This floral arrangement looks alive, with the fan waves brushing against it. Altogether, this meal was $30 US, which as a native Californian is a pretty good deal considering Mommy O also got wine, and I got coconut. For breakfast, there was not a lot of people there this morning, but dinner time, towards the end of our meal, two bigger groups came in. One table was like eight people, and the other table was like 10 people. Friday today. Yeah, it is Friday. Oh, that's the gym. These lighting fixtures kind of look like a thin tombstone. So I was saving files on the computer, and then I saw this flash of the light, and it looks like there's lightning in the distance. Dear Sky, can you flash lightning? so it could go on my vlog. <gasps> I thought it was someone flashing a light into our window, but it was the lightning. Someone's getting some nice Ooh. showers. Wow, dramatic, love it. So awesome. So cool how the lightning makes everything visible for a split second. It's a new morning and the tide is low. These views evoke a peaceful solitude in my soul. The boats are still, the water is calm, Feels like the world is on pause. I heard something and I turned over and there's a gentleman on the coconut tree. There are these small things scurrying on the sand and I was wondering what it is. It kind of looked like spiders too, so I didn't get too close. Oh, I think it's a crab. <laughs> He's kind of funny the way they move. It is Saturday. Today we have a buffet set up. They have assorted bread. Muffin. Ooh, look at this. We have a young coconut. This morning I picked up some Filipino dishes. This one's called the bangas. And I'm told that people will dip it into the sauce. This is chili. And this lettuce is from their organic garden. This claw looking thing is dried squid. This here is tocino. How do you like the squid? Oh, so it tastes familiar. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's super crunchy. Mmm, briny, salty, dry, a little savory, seafoody. I feel like the moisture from my mouth is just seeping away by this with every bite. This is like Anju food. <laughs> like in Korea, you'd have this with like a beer. It leaves a pretty strong flavor on your tongue. On to the bangos. More mild in flavor compared to the squid. Let's dip the bangos into the sauce and chili. Even just that amount might be plenty, depending how spicy it is. With the sauce, it's like five times tastier. And the chili flakes are crunchy. 
and of course spicy so crispy you wouldn't think it's too crispy because we have some liquid here these chilies will make anything taste epic i'll just put on the hash brown <laughs> That chili is really good. I just can't get over it. Delicious. Now this sauce is a bit sour, very vinegary. I'm pairing it with this. Three thumbs up. These guys are a good marriage. Just let it soak like a sponge. So I just learned there's also deep fried garlic with the chili flakes. That's why it's so good. I want to bring that home with me. Is it instant coffee? Yeah. Right now, they have an electric shutdown, so there's no AC and it's warm. Yesterday, there was not a lot of people for breakfast, but this morning, there was like 10 people in the pool on my walk here. Now, let's try the casino. I'll think of it as like a moist beef jerky. This looks like a, a ninja star, and the mango looks like a hand going like this. The vibrant floral decorations bring life to each table. Hello, banana nut bread. Breaking it down. Ow. That is so pleasant. Mommyo just brought me some pineapple jam. House made. That pineapple jam is so sweet. It'll make your eyes pop out. Now let's try the ninja star. A little chewy. The humidity has beat me to the bread and the sweetness is coming mostly from the mango. Second coconut of the day as I edit a video. Mommy is gonna go for a swim. The water's pretty cool. Yeah. Ah, refreshing! Look at there's a goat in the distance. <laughs> Mm. Mommy is sitting on one of the steps. Oh, it's perfect. It just goes right up to your neck level. This camera's starting to overheat, which means you gotta dip it in the water to cool it down. Did some video editing, and now we're gonna go to the coconut harvesting activity. He climbs 100 trees a day? Yes. And he cleans all this coconut tree every day. Whoa. They're a little dense on the trunk, and he puts his feet in hands over that. Oh, he, he puts his feet on the dense. Something's falling. Wow, incredible. Oh, he cut off a whole stem off. He put it on the rope. About seven coconuts are fastened to the rope. The gentleman comes back down without any safety backup. He's climbed coconut trees thousands of times. What a pro. You drink a uh, sample because we have no uh, straw. So okay. you can drink like... Oh, okay. Filipino style. Filipino style. Not Gangnam style. <laughs> you see? You pull this one, that is a Filipino style. Mm. <laughs> you don't need straw. Yes, ma'am. This is more eco-friendly. Yeah. <laughs> No net plastic. That called tongab. Tongab. In Bisaya, tongab. Tongab. Yes. Oh, bottoms up. Yeah, bottoms, bottoms up. up. Yes, yes. Tongab. Yeah. Tongab. 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 <laughs> cheers, cheers, Arnel. Tongab. 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 It's heavy. So you yeah. do work out like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's okay. Every morning. <laughs> Considering how warm the weather is, yes. it's not hot. Yeah. The water is There's so much water in this. Amazing. You can now like that what what, what you did. Ah, use it as a spoon. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, I can now. I've had coconut many times, but my first time learning that you could use it as a spoon. Yes. So cool. <laughs> First time you eat, I think you use spoon. You can rent a water tricycle. First time seeing these. It's kind of funny. Very cartoony. Oh, speedboat. Okay. This one. See you. 
Whoops, that's my crotch. Here's a look at the bottom. Quite green. I was asking them, oh, how do I know after 30 minutes? Because I didn't bring my cell phone with me just in case things get wet. Um, but they said, oh, it's okay, don't worry about it. Just uh, don't go too far. <laughs> the ocean might carry me away. Wow, this area, it got really dark. Mommy, look over there on the lounge chair. Yeah, do you see that platform thing? Oh, I'm just naturally drifting towards that direction. Hello! Just slid right on to the shore. Should we try the four-handed massage? For 90 minutes, it costs 4,500 PHP, which is currently about $85 US. Also, there's an early bird discount right now. Let's compare this to a place in San Francisco. For 60 minutes, $375. Add tip and it's closer to $400. Another place in San Francisco charges $280 for 60 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna try the four-handed massage here. Before getting on the table, we get a little foot bath. They have a ding shop. 90 minutes later. Ginger, lemongrass, honey. I just got my first ever four-hand massage and whoa. One of the challenges giving form hand massage with another person is matching the same pressure on both sides and going the same speed. Now, there are a lot of moments where they matched the same speed and the pressure and that's when I was like, whoa, mind blown because it was so perfectly matched. It felt like a superhuman with four hands was giving me a massage, not two different people portion of the massage was like half and half this way like one person takes care of the left side one person takes care of the right side and other parts of the massage is one person takes care of upper and then the other person takes care of the lower it definitely feels like i got two massages in one because when you get a massage with one person they take care of one part of the body at a time but here we're doing double time the forehand massage it had its relaxing moments but some parts is very stimulating where they're doing like rolling effect like four hands just going like this one after the other in the back and on the legs Tonight we're having a romantic candlelight dinner on the beach Just kidding, this is for someone else Party lights on and the music outside and the performances. Joining us tonight for the party is Butter. This is fresh, super uber duper fresh. Crispy edges, life of the party right here. Mommy will order cabbage and mushroom soup. It looks like that's rosemary on the top. I ordered the Bicol Express with a side of steamed vegetables. Savory, not salty. This is warming my soul up. The soup tastes deep. The Picol Express contains minced pork and ginger. I know it's not normal, but I'ma have with plain veggies instead of rice. Creamy, a little spicy. The Picol Express. The flavor reminds me a bit of uh, Penang curry. This is Malangai ice cream. Oh, it has lots of freckles. I bet you 15,000 peso this is gonna be good. It reminds me of green tea ice cream. The texture of those little specks is kind of more like moist cereal bits. But what about the lemongrass ginger ice cream? What feelings does it conjure? That combo, I've had it as a tea before, especially at a spa, but not as ice cream. Which one do you like more? Really? We're in luck. I prefer the malangai ice cream. But this is one sweeter. We go back to our room and our bed has been made for sleepy time. They put the remote on the bed and put the TV on too. And somebody left us a jar of cookies. Mommy is outside taking a swim. It's gonna be another storm tonight. Good morning! Morning! It is 6.30 a.m. Can you believe it? It's so sunny. 
but it's only 6.30 a.m. We're gonna get breakfast and then go island hopping to Kalangaman. Two and a half hour ride to the island. We get some breakfast, but I'm gonna keep this part short because I gotta save batteries for the island trip. Nuts on homemade yogurt. Three thumbs up that the yogurt is not sweet. It's plain. Hey baby, always good to see you. And then we head to Kalangaman Island. The water is just, wow, beautiful. We walk on a sandbar. On the other side of the island, we walk on a submerged sandbar. I uploaded the full island tour last week. The link to that video is in the description box. Wow, mission crisp success. And that concludes our day. Last morning in Macau, I mean Cebu. Mommy was doing a balancing act here with her shoes. The tide is pretty high this morning compared to the other days. I just did some video editing for a good two hours and now we're gonna go get breakfast. So it turns out buffet is not just for weekends, it depends on the number of occupancy. More people here than buffet. Got a freshly made omelette, got some salad with muffin. That's a good idea. Mommy will put homemade yogurt on the homemade banana bread with dried mango. Oh, that's really good. The banana bread is on the sweet side and the yogurt, it brings a little bit of a sourness. Almost 12 p.m. We are just about to check out. Look what Eric gave us. Snacks! I got some quinoa salad to go. or something. After all these hours of writing, would you say it was worth it? Yeah. Conclusion. We enjoyed staying at Kandaya, especially because it was not crowded. It also gave me a chance to edit videos and have relaxing breaks in between. However, in terms of exploring new areas and more food options, I'll likely stay closer to the airport next time. This was a long video. I tried to cut it down to 20 minutes, but I just couldn't. There's just so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun and learned something new. If you reached the end of this video, post a tree or flower emoji in the comment section. Any tree, any flower, you choose. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. To relax at night, listen to ASMR Bedtime with Miss Mina. We read, crunch, crinkle, and more. In the sunset cold. Toodles, my noodles. Good morning. It is pouring now. Look at that. Ideally, I would be editing a video or doing emails right now. But if I look at the screen consistently, then I'll get car sick. So we're just gonna eat mangoes and then dried mangoes and then take a nap. It was a long ride, standing ovation to our driver. I don't know how people drive here. It's Some people don't have their lights on at night. Highway is two lanes and people go into your lane all the time and then people uh, go around you and go other, around other people. Like the trucks are very slow, so it causes a lot of traffic. So then the cars go around the trucks and then we have motorcycles and then the uh, uh, kind of like more like tuk-tuk cars. Originally, I booked a garden villa for two nights, but then uh, before even I got here, I extended two additional nights after I found out it takes three hours-ish to get to here from the airport. And I was like, if it takes that long, we might as well just stay longer instead of keep bouncing around different accommodation, which can get tiring if you keep changing hotels, Airbnbs and such. We got lucky and we got bumped up to the pool villa and now we have a private pool. You can make a contribution to preserving the environment by using your bed linen more than once. I like that. Wait. Why is it opening? Oh. Wait. Oh, maybe it's a sliding door. Yeah. 
<laughs> the whole time we were trying to like pull it in and out, but it was a sliding door. Smell fish. Mmm, smells like the ocean. This hotel also does laundry for you. This is cheaper than the Shangri-La pricing. Way cheaper. Yeah. If you get a round trip ride from the resort to the airport, it's 7,000 peso, PHP. But if you do only one ride, uh, either you're coming or you're going, then it's 4,000 peso. Imported from Korea are almonds! There are all kinds of water sports, including transparent boat, jet ski, banana boat, flying fish. This dryer is pretty cool. You just push here, you press. First time seeing something like this. The AC keeps blowing air onto the curtains. So if you look closely, it looks like it's alive. Actually, if you look at it in person, it looks more kind of creepy, but cool. Currently saving video files. So it turns out it's going to be raining until Monday. And then Tuesday, it's sunny. And guess what? We leave on Monday. It's from France. Oh, the butter's from France. Now the bread is getting a little chewy, <laughs> just slightly because of the humidity. Some parts still crunchy. And you know what? You can never go wrong with butter. Tastes good. Really, really. Mommy O approves. Three more female guests have appeared on the scene. So no, I did not rent out this whole hotel. <laughs> oh, is that another boat in the distance? Oh, and a bird made its YouTube debut. And can I just say how comfortable this bed is? I actually want to buy this mattress. I think it's a jackfruit tree. Uh -huh. Is it okay? Yes, yes, ma'am. Your face is okay? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. It's okay. There's a zapping sound, and actually it's coming from this machine when the insects get to it. I feel safe next to this. Look at how it glows. It looks like a nightclub for bugs. Quinoa salad is cooked this is a real quinoa salad. Yeah, it's a real quinoa salad. All about the quinoa. I feel like we didn't do a whole lot today, but I feel super tired. Didn't even get to finish editing a video. I'm trying not to feel too bad about that. On the bright side, it seems that my toe did not get an infection. <laughs> Ever wonder what it would feel like to be in a life-size sink? Like human size. Here we have our sink. And then, the bathtub. I just realized it looks exactly like the sink, but bigger. Today I'm gonna film in 1080p. Yesterday was 4K, it took up so much space on my external hard drive. So I'm just gonna do 1080 and keep it light and simple. This camera is also very lighter. And somebody left us a jar of cookies. I'm gonna save this for Christmas. Uh, so Santa can enjoy. It might be a little early to think about Christmas. After all, right now as I film this, it's May. However, you can never be too early to get on the nice list and try to get yourself off the naughty list. If you have specific things you want from Santa, you're gonna have to take it seriously. Start early as possible. Save him cookies in advance throughout the year so he gets assorted flavors. The taste of the cookies from Philippines with a hint of that humidity, summer humidity. So we are debating on doing an island hop. Couple reasons, uh, it's gonna be raining until we leave. So the trip might get canceled last minute or like during the boat ride make it super rainy. And by the time we get to that smaller island, it might continue to rain and we can't really enjoy it. But it's a pity if we come all the way here and not see at least one island. I'm determined to make it happen. We have a couple options, but the one that interests me the most is Kalangaman Island. I read some online reviews and some people are saying it gets pretty crowded, uh, which I'm not super stoked about, but um, it looks beautiful. Earlier, Mommy left her shoes to dry here, but uh, thankfully there is a roof, so mostly it was protected. Just trying to put it up on the ledge, but we'll just bring it in. More calamansi. I thought it was gonna be very hot in here because everything's open, all the windows. 
However, there is a nice breeze. They have a couple of fans on, so you do not feel hot at all. Constant breeze. Ooh, admire the gradient on this slice of tomato.